I know you're getting excited by all of this. You're ready to move to Denver. You're ready to get a job. How are we doing? How are we doing? This is Destination Denver, Colorado. And today I've got a great one for you. I'm talking about the top 10 employers when moving to Denver, Colorado. Let's do it. All right, welcome to, or hopefully back to the channel. This is Destination Denver, Colorado, and I am your host, Jimmy Everett's. And listen, if this is your first time checking out this channel and you're interested in learning all the pros and cons, ins and outs to moving to or around Denver, Colorado, then this is going to be the channel for you. So having said that, make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the notification icon down below as I'm dropping two videos for you each and every week. And listen, as much as I love getting a little creative on camera, I'd love to be a resource for you in any way, shape or form I can. So having said that, that number and email popping up below, I am always the person answering your phone calls, answering your text, answering your emails, Hell, carrier pigeon, however you like to communicate, I'm there for you. And now having said all that fun filled stuff, let's get down to what we're here to talk about. And that is the top 10 employers when moving to Denver, Colorado. All right, so before we actually get into our top 10, I wanna to talk to you about kind of just the overall situation here in Denver, economic, workforces, vibe, what have you, just to kind of give you an idea of what the city is about. So first and foremost, uh, we got to play to our strength. So Denver's economy by and large has grown over the last 25 plus years. Now, obviously you take into account the crash of 2008, that recession, and, and, and obviously Denver took a hit back then. But other than that, it quickly rebounded and overall its economic growth going back to 1995, 1996 has been steady and inclining matches the housing market. So if you're interested in that, you're gonna see similar numbers. Denver has a variety of industries it is big in. If you were moving here in 2012, 2013, 2014, and you were looking for a high paying job, chances are you and I were going to be having a discussion about the oil and gas industry because that was the, the top paying industry and there really wasn't a, a, a close second place. Now, Denver relies on a variety of industries and some of them we're going to discuss in this top 10. So you're talking about large tech companies, financial to include accounting, oil and gas is still a big part, healthcare, uh, medical, can't forget bioscience, aerospace. And listen, let's say you're in a situation where you're a business owner and you're thinking about moving states or you're thinking about moving to Colorado because you wanna start a company, for what it's worth, Forbes magazine ranks Colorado the number two state in the nation as an entrepreneur. So take that for what it is, Colorado has a lot going for it. And this is probably a good time and I'll make sure that this is also linked in the comments below, but check out if you're, if you're an entrepreneur or you're looking for tech work, check out the website builtincolorado.com. That website is all about tech companies, uh, and, and businesses that were founded here in Denver or throughout Colorado by local entrepreneurs. There's a lot of opportunity there for people in the tech space, the financial space, aerospace, bioscience, accounting, which again, I know ties into finances, but that's an excellent resource. So again, builtincolorado.com. And also consider industries like real estate, mortgage, title, insurance. Obviously those are industries that you can get into that business in any state, but right now those are all industries that are growing in Denver. They've been growing for decades, a lot of opportunity. Hell, I work in mortgages, so I can tell you that line of work is beneficial once you get rolling. So something to consider there as well. And as far as specific types of workers that, that are being sought out in Denver and the surrounding region, and this is similar across the country, but in Denver, desperation time, uh, contractors, carpenters, uh, electricians, plumbers, like skilled laborers. If that is a skill set you have and you're thinking about switching companies or you're thinking about coming to Colorado and again, doing your own thing as an entrepreneur, there is a ton of opportunity in Denver and the surrounding regions. There has been a massive shortage here for multiple years. We're not talking about months, we're talking about years. So if you have any of those skill sets or maybe you're looking to get into a, a new trade, you want to apprentice for something, huge opportunity here. And that's something I would, I would definitely consider and I'd look into in Denver. And listen, I, I know that this is going to go for a lot of cities across the nation, but Denver has a vibrant nightlife. Nightclubs, restaurants, 
uh, bars. So if you're a service industry worker, cocktail server, bartender, manager, what have you, and that is something that you're thinking about as far as just kind of getting your foot in the door in Denver, getting situated, making obviously good money in the service industry. Uh, there are a lot of places hiring here. I my, myself worked in the industry for several years in Denver, still very well connected there. And I can tell you they're looking for good people, might even be a good excuse for you to call or text me. I'm just throwing that out there. But if that's something that you want to do to kind of get yourself rolling in Denver, plenty of opportunity and all over the city. So the last thing I want to talk about before I jump into our top 10 is a specific list of positions that people I have talked to, over 100 people that I've had conversations with, the list of, of positions that they gave me that would be perfect for you to know. So I'm gonna read them because there's a few. Nurses, physician assistants, network systems and data communications and analysts, computer software engineers, database administrators, physical therapists, preschool and post-secondary teachers, and environmental engineers. So, and I'll have that down in the comments below so that you have that information. But if you're in any of those industries, I can tell you based on plenty of conversations with my contacts in the city, there's a position waiting for you. All right, so I know you have been eagerly anticipating me getting into this top 10 list. So the number one employer in the state of California. So one thing to keep in mind when I give you this top 10 is that it's not 10 individual companies or organizations. Some of them I lumped into one. So if there were three companies that all ranked in the top 15 and they had similarities to them, I put them together because at the end of the day, I wanna give you as much information in this video as I can. Colorado, it's probably gonna be similar in your state as well, but it is the US or state local government. So uh, here in Colorado and around Denver, you have a few national government offices. You have the federal, excuse me, the federal center, which is located in Lakewood, Colorado. It employs about 8,000 people. You have the U.S. Mint. Uh, you also have mining research and redevelopment. That's a big office here, has about 2,000 employees. And then obviously you have state, you have the local government. And that is certainly going to include to some extent your, your state police, uh, certain state firefighter or, or certain firefighter departments, I should say, are state funded. So plenty of government positions if that is something that you work in. Lobbying is also a growing position here in Denver. So if you're a lobbyist, you want to come here and pull some, that's up to you. You can get into that. So number two is one of these examples of an industry or segment where I grouped a few together and that is universities around Denver. So Colorado University has a campus here in Denver. It is one of the largest employers as far as universities in the state. Also in that same region on the Aurora campus, you have Metro State, you have Regis University just up north, you have DU, Denver University, excuse me, University of Denver, DU. I don't know why they do that to us, but you want to talk about an incredible campus with opportunities. I mean, that place is gorgeous. Uh, so you definitely need to visit DU. Sometimes on summer days, I don't work there, but I still walk around. It's like a little baby Notre Dame. I don't know. And linked to CU and not terribly far from Denver is the Anschutz campus, which is out. It's still technically Denver, kind of Aurora, but not too far from downtown universities, still a massive employer for the state and for Denver. All right, so let's jump into number three. And like I said, I'm gonna lump some of these together because we're gonna talk about hospitals next and there are plenty of them. So one of the biggest corporations you're gonna see is Health One. Uh, Health One owns multiple medical centers. They own Sky Ridge, they own Rose Medical, they own Swedish, uh, you're gonna see they own probably about a dozen medical centers in and around Denver or within, call it 20 to 25 minutes of the city. They have positions open all over the place, a massive employer. On top of that, you've got Centura Health, which is out in Inglewood. Inglewood is a suburb basically directly connected to Denver. You got Denver Health, which is located right downtown and a lot of, of people I know just getting out of nursing school, just getting into the medical profession or starting out in Denver Health. It's a very large facility with a lot of opportunity. Can't forget Kaiser Permanente. It's obviously a, a national organization, but they have a strong foothold here. 
uh, St. Anthony's Hospital to check out in Lakewood. Again, a huge facility, definitely looking for people. And last but certainly not least is Children's Hospital, uh, one of the most nationally renowned hospitals, for, you know, especially for kids, but even as a standalone. And, uh, and one of those places, man, even if you don't work at Ch Children's Hospital, uh, you want to make a, a difference in the world on any given day, swing by that hospital and just visit. There's some incredible people there and, and obviously some magical kids too. Have I put you to sleep yet? If not, let's talk about number four and that's public schools. If you're anything like me, whoo, they used to help you take naps. So anyway, one of the biggest employers, uh, specifically Denver County, Jefferson County, Douglas County, and Cherry, Cre uh, Cherry Creek School District. Now, Cherry Creek is one I want you to take a special note of. Reason being is that Cherry Creek, along with Boulder, uh, are, uh, that Cherry Creek is one of the most highly rated school districts in the state of Colorado. Anytime you start hearing about school systems around Denver and rankings and all of that good stuff, it is almost guaranteed you are going to hear Cherry Creek at some point. So something to take note of. But again, Denver County uh, alone employs about 14,000 people. So there you go. All right, so number five, we're linking a bunch of companies that you would call as soon as you moved into your house or apartment or, or whatever you're doing. And that is, Comcast Corporation or your cable company, Excel Energy, Dish Network if you're into that satellite stuff, and CenturyLink if you want some internet. All four of those have headquarters, they have different offices in Denver, they have large offices, and then they have satellite stations all over the city and all over the state. They are a massive employer here. Uh, combined, they've got over 20,000 employees. So those are four companies to keep in mind and easy to remember, right? You got cable, Comcast Cable, Dish Network for satellite, CenturyLink for your internet, and Excel Energy if you like to turn on lights and you're into heat and air conditioning and that stuff. All right, number six is a standalone and that is Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo employs over 18,000 people in the state of Colorado, but just in the Denver region and its satellite uh, banks, it employs 5,000. Currently hiring, obviously a another one of those situations where they've got a lot of options, a lot of positions, uh, and you can work at Wells Fargo in a variety of areas. Clearly I know a lot about positions at Wells Fargo, what can I say? It was high on the list. It's on my list. All right, number seven, and admittedly my personal favorite, uh, I worked there in high school for a little while, is the Coors Brewery in Golden, Colorado. It employs about 6,000 people. Uh, recently, its headquarters moved from Denver or Golden, where it had been for obviously decades, uh, to Chicago, but the facility itself is still here, and it is still, unless something changed in the last couple months, it is the largest single brewery facility in the entire world. It is massive. It just stretches. I'm showing you some B-roll right now because you have to see this thing just goes and goes and goes. And even if you don't want to work at the Coors Brewery, because maybe you're not into Colorado Kool-Aid, it is also one of the coolest places to tour. So you can swing out to Golden, you can go check out the brewery, they'll walk you around, you can see the facilities. It smells amazing, I love the smell of a brewery. And then at the end, you go down to the little gift shop, you don't have to buy anything, you just have to drink a few of the beers they give you. And I'm gonna tell you, even if you don't like Coors Light, when you drink it at the facility, it just tastes better. Number eight and a major player here in Denver is Lockheed Martin, actually located out in Littleton. Now I would try to show you some B-roll of Lockheed Martin, like some drone footage, but it's a government installation and they create things like military jets and tech and aerospace. And I did not want to go to federal prison for flying a drone anywhere near Lockheed Martin. So you're probably seeing like, a picture of a building or maybe just a picture of the sign or some random picture of a jet because that's what Lockheed Martin does. And tied into Lockheed Martin, while they have not made the list yet, I did want to make it a point to you that IBM and Google have also become major players as far as tech companies and what have you employing here in Colorado. They've recently moved several of their offices out to Colorado. They've been hiring a ton of people, a lot of opportunity there. So along with Lockheed Martin, I would add Google and IBM, even though if you looked at just a ranking of employers in, in the state, you're not gonna see those two yet, but it's IBM and it's Google. So you could literally, if you want, 
Google how many people Google hired in Colorado, and I'm sure you'll be impressed. I will put a link to said Google down below. That's just a joke, don't hate me. All right, so number nine on its own is Keysight Technologies. They deal with a lot of networking and communication, a massive employer here in Denver. It's a global company. They have offices all over the world, but Denver and the region happen to be one of their bigger areas or one of their bigger offices. So if you're into the communication, networking, tech, uh, that and its offspring companies are a big opportunity. So Keysight Technologies, again, I'll have that information down below. You can tell, literally from the way I talk, the companies that are just past my brain power. I do mortgages and math for a living. When it comes to tech stuff, we would have never landed on the moon if I was in charge, I'm just being real. So number 10 is the oil and gas industry, and I wanna be very honest and very transparent about this. So oil and gas really started to pick up in Denver around 2011, 2012, and it hit just as the oil and gas industry did, it really hit steam in 2013, 2014. Now, at the beginning of 2020, oil and gas as an industry employed about 21,000 people in the Denver area. 9,000 of them lost their jobs last year. It was definitely an industry that saw a, 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 got hit hard, and it got hit hard globally, right? We saw gas prices go down, we saw a ton of people lose their job. Having said that, and I'm not making light of it in any way, shape, or form, I had a lot of good buddies who lost their jobs during that time. I, I want to add oil and gas, have to, because oil and gas still employs 12,000 plus people in the Denver area. It is still an industry that has a foothold here. It's still a big part of our economy. Something you will see about Denver is that there isn't one or two industries that carry us. There was a time where if you asked what really kept Denver together, it, we would have said oil and gas and we can't deal with oil and gas leaving. Now there's a lot of variety, but oil and gas is still a major player in industry. They still employ 12,000 people and obviously uh, everybody gas prices aside, like that, but we'd love to see a resurgence in the oil and gas industry here, still a big player and something to keep in mind. And for those of you who stuck around to the end because you're champions or you forgot that YouTube was on and you just have it playing in the background, that's cool. I got a little bonus for you, number 11, and that is the financial sector. So you have companies like Charles Schwab, obviously National, Janus Capital, Alice Capital, uh, and I had to look real quick to make sure I had it right, uh, AIMCO. So finance is a sector, as far as Colorado goes, that is growing and growing quickly. There's a lot of new companies moving here. There are entrepreneurs creating their own. Obviously, we, I'm not even gonna talk about cryptocurrency. I have people who tried to talk to me about that and to add it to this video, but I can't even spell Bitcoin. I don't know what's happened there, but finance is a huge sector here in Denver. If you're into that, opportunity here if you're not going to you know wall street or chicago why would you want to go there all right so we've learned a lot today we've learned that i told you i was going to give you 10 and i gave you 11 possible employers that tells you how well i count don't hold that against me uh, we've learned that when we talk about businesses that are related to tech or aerospace or wells fargo i'm not filled with key details thank god you can google them and we have learned that Denver has a ton of opportunity. So if you're thinking even more about moving here after watching this, then once again, and you need a little resource, a little help, that's what I'm here for. So that number and email popping up below, again, I'm the guy answering the phone calls, answering the texts, answering the emails. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed it. This is Destination Denver, Colorado. I am Jimmy Everett's. Until next time, peace.